Good morning, Archer Park Middle School. This is Sam bringing your daily dose of MSTV. Today is Wednesday, December 18th. Today is a cycle one day and day three on the music lesson schedule. Hi, this is Joey. No, you are not seeing double. Well, actually, maybe you are today because today is National Twin Day. In addition to National Twin Day, it is also National Answer the Phone Day, like Buddy the Elf. What's your favorite color? Congratulations to the following students who earned a Quaker Kindness card and are being recognized for their good deeds. Keep being kind and you might see your name on the announcements too. Book fiends will meet today, right after school in Mrs. Cullen's room, room 173. All are welcome to attend to participate in book-related activities. French Club is meeting Thursday, December 19th to make a holiday ornament and have, some ho and have a holiday party. We meet in room 147 after school. Sign up with your world language teacher or outside room 147 before December 18th. See Ms. Shunk in room 147 with any questions. The Gift Giver Mini Market is still going on in the bookstore on the first floor, so you can still buy gifts. Mm -hmm. Bookstore hours are every morning from 7.45 to 8.15, and Monday and Tuesday from 10 to 20, 10, from 10.20 to 1.15. More scrunchies will be there, too. Drum Club will be meeting this Wednesday at 2.30 in room 123. Come drum. Life and Career Skills Class. Please sign up for Business Lunch for Friday, December 20th. Bring your lunch and something to write. Hope to see you there. And now a message from your social studies teacher. Bonjour, Monsieur Raton ici to tell you about the next French club. We will be meeting again Thursday, December 19th after school in room 147. Yay! We will be making some wonderful holiday ornaments and cards. Please sign up with your world language teacher before... Wednesday, December 18th. Yay! Please see Mrs. Shunk if you have any questions in room 147. See you there. There's one sweet above all others that truly says it's Christmas. According to legend, the first candy cane was invented in 1670 by an ingenious choir master at the Cologne Cathedral in Germany. To keep children quiet during services, he gave out white sugar candies, which he bent to resemble a shepherd's crook. But in America, we improved upon the idea. In the early 20th century, confectioners added peppermint flavor and a distinctive red swirl. After a while, the plain white stick started to become a little boring, so the red stripes were added. Today, that candy symbol of Christmas is alive and well at companies like Hammond's Candies and the Spangler Candy Company. The making of these sweet holiday treats starts with corn syrup and sugar. It's cooked at a temperature of 288 degrees for four minutes. And of course, the peppermint flavoring. This is the cooling process. Just basically cooling that candy from the 288 degrees down to about 190 degrees. Then once it comes off the mixer here, we put it onto this puller. The puller will make it stark white because of the air that's incorporated. After striping, the candy canes are whittled down to the proper size and fed through the twister. Two belts run in opposite directions, and as the rope feeds through, it twists. Each cane gets five twists. Once striped and cut, the candy canes are just about ready for their signature element, the crook. The way the process works is you'll see the two lights, and that is a camera that actually shows the exact location of where the cane is at on the black belt, which then goes to the robot. The robot then picks up three canes at a time for packaging. We make a million and a half canes a day in our Bryant facility, and we make them all year. We never stop. So it's Christmas at Spangler's all year long.
Today's lunch will be roasted turkey with mashed potatoes and gravy, a dinner roll, and carrots. Tomorrow's lunch will be a hamburger and romaine salad. Until next time, this has been Sam and Joey reporting for MS TV. Thanks for watching and have a great day.